Hi guys, how you doing? Just thought I'd do a quick follow up on the power supplies for a PC tower. I uh, was doing a teardown on that previously uh, and just wanted to give a bit of an update on the wire. So I did strip the wire and I, I may have noted previously that the wire itself uh, wasn't always kind of the bright copper. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, strip it all down and see what percentage was bright copper, what percentage was maybe tin plated copper uh, and just see if it's worth actually stripping all the wire back. So uh, this is the the type of power supply I'm talking about. Okay there's a power supply, there is the wire, it's attached to it, the power wire this was the wire I was kind of questioning whether it would be uh, all bright copper or whether it would be tin plated copper or aluminium wire or whatever it may be. Uh, I did note obviously that you need to remove the plugs if you're just passing it on as insulated wire. Uh, but I thought I'd strip it down, see what it was all about. I had two of these power supplies very very similar look almost exactly the same uh, so I am assuming that the wire is almost if not exactly the same uh, so instead of just putting this in my insulated wire pile I stripped it back okay so I just wanted to show you what I got for stripping it back so as you can see it is all bright copper yeah it's not tin plated copper not aluminium wire it is all bright copper wire okay so if you've got a time strip it back and uh, take that copper yield better than just stick it in, in the insulated wire pile more worth stripping if you can okay while I was stripping this, I use my wire strippers here the spring as you can see there, snapped, so I had to stretch it and place it around the kind of pulley piece at the end here, this little piece, I had to stretch it along uh, and fix it because the, the ring on the end of the spring had completely sheared off and broke, so I had to manually fix it myself. Okay. This is a Magnuson tools you get out of B and Q. Uh, I'm not sure B and Q's in the states. Uh, it's obviously a a UK uh, seller of tools, plants, uh, building equipment, all that kind of stuff. Lighting, wire. Uh, household goods lots of things okay their main tool supplier is Magnuson so Magnuson wire strippers had to manually fix myself okay decent wire stripper but a bit disappointed that I, the spring wore out and I had to fix it myself these are my snips blunted very quickly and the real problem I had with these was that the the handle slips yeah so when you're actually snipping stuff well sometimes you put a little bit of pressure on it and as you can see the handle slips yeah not great glue inside them doesn't really last that long but disappointing okay so being here, quite cheap tools, which is great, but I mean, the quality isn't that great for those snips. So, that's two magazine tools I have, two of them, something wrong with them. Then we get to the Magnuson screwdriver, which is a mini kind of screwdriver set. Uh, 
uh, something you really need if you're doing micro scrapping and it has a screwdriver which as you can see is this one okay has a little ratchet has a spin top so you can turn it and the top doesn't move makes it nice and easy when you're screwing stuff in that top doesn't move and the rest of it spins you can just keep your finger straight and spin the tool okay you would say to yourself oh that's great yeah but look I've got another one in here for a reason this is a little aluminium screwdriver I bought years ago has the same uh, size pieces in terms of the screwdriver set itself and I use that why do I use that? well I use that because as you can see this piece here I turn it upside down it doesn't fall out why doesn't it fall out? because there's a magnetic piece in there yeah this one should do exactly the same okay but does it here's my pieces as you can see snapped piece on the end there not the greatest high performing tool what about the snap let's put one of these into the screwdriver okay there we go oh fell out why did it fall out because the magnet inside the tool is gone where did the magnet go I don't know just fell out yeah, magnets and tools. Not the greatest, I have to say. Okay, very disappointed. Look like good quality tools. Not good quality tools. Defective. Okay. Handles move. Dangerous. Not good enough. Screwdriver. Magnet gone doesn't work can't use the pieces when it when fallen out and now fallen into somewhere in there okay now i need to oh there it is on the top of it there we go we found it but it fell out crap wire stripper spring broke had to stretch the existing spring to fit round the edge, manipulate, fix, manually intervene. Terrible. Okay. Not good tools. Magnuson, get your crap together and improve the tools. Because I use them a lot and these aren't good enough. Okay, but what was good enough? As I say, the wire from a PC tower power pack see that quick quick PC tower power pack is bright copper okay good stuff that's what you want so thanks for watching guys quick update there as I said on the PC tower power pack and then a little uh, insight into B and Q tools. Not great. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. See you next time.